Hello fellow humans, Chris here again. So uh, I'm going to continue the conversation on some of the experiences that I've had so far in, in this deployment as it's, it's actually coming to an end here in the next couple days. Uh, when I get back home, I will get back to doing my green screen. Uh, it was I had my green screen here with me, but it was just a, a bit too much trouble to get it uh, going here in the hotel. So you guys are going to just be stuck with my generic hotel living room view for the time being but uh, I will be getting back home soon so so one of the other things that came up was um, how did I comfort people who were getting the shot um, this could be because they're apprehensive about getting the shot or it could be after they get the shot um, or just they might be worried about what sort of uh, side effects they might be facing so I don't have quite as specific of a story here as I did with the story about the person who'd lost his dad. Um, I can just talk more in a general way. When I was working in Oakland, again, I, I most of these stories that have to do with the patients is going to refer to Oakland more. Um, here, where I am now in Medford, um, working in safety, and I'm kind of more involved in the background, uh, not really working with the patients at all. So in Oakland, I did a lot of uh, customer service type jobs. I would greet the patients, escort them in to, to get checked in, or I would actually check them in myself, uh, or we would observe. We would be there at the vaccine site to make sure everything was going smoothly, or we might escort them to the observation tent where they would be observed for after the shot to make sure everything went okay. So. Throughout that whole process, uh, no matter where I was working, I would always be interacting with the patients. And so probably the most common thing that I would run into would be the moments between getting the shot and the walk to observation. So that particular job, when you, when you work in the vaccine tent, uh, your job is to watch and make sure that everything's going, going correctly, and then you walk them over to the observation tent and that 50 foot walk from one tent to the next I would generally ask them how they were doing I would gauge how they looked so if they looked like they were just chill and calm and happy or whatever I would just be like hey doing good not quick and easy right and it would just be a easy easy going walk down to the observation tent and there are other times where they would kind of communicate a sort of sense of apprehension of the unknown uh, maybe mention that oh wow that that kind of hurt a little bit they would sometimes kind of express uh, sort of a concern of the unknown uh, what's going to happen to me now am i going to have an effect am i going to get sick am i going to get implanted with a chip really i found the 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 easiest best way to kind of comfort people in that short walk uh, was just letting them know that I, I got my shot too. So I could say, oh, I just got my shot yesterday too, and I'm doing great. Or if it was two weeks ago, hey, I got my shot, I, you know, I my arm was a little bit sore, but I was a little fatigued, and, and that was the end of it, and I'm doing great now. And, and it, it was all just honest, um, and I think that probably for some people, you know, I'm, I'm in my uniform, I'm there in official capacity, um, but I'm just talking like a person and, and I'm a human just like them and also trying to take this step into us as a society moving past this crisis. And I think that just leveling with them was, was really all that, that I could do. It was a good experience. Those moments were helpful for me to kind of reconnect with people um, after such a long time of being isolated. I did say that I'm not a big fan of small talk, but I don't consider that small talk. You know, that was that was meaningful. People were sometimes emotional, sometimes stressed out, and I think that any kind of little reassurance that I could give them was was good, meaningful, valuable talk. And so that doesn't bother me at all. You know, that that makes me feel good that I could be there in that capacity. On more rare occasions, there were times when people were particularly emotional. Sometimes they'd be emotional going in to get the vaccine. So if I was working uh, in the escort section of actually escorting them to the check-in tent, or if I was in the check-in tent before they got their shot, there was no 
there was no set answer. There was no script, you know, of what I would say. Um, I would listen to the person, and then I would just respond as myself. Whereas if there was an apprehension about getting the shot, just mention, I understand, I got the shot, how I'm doing, and also I have, actually do have an aversion to blood draws, personally. So I, um, I have no problem with getting shots, but I have severe anxiety with getting blood draws. I use that as well to level with people, because a lot of people had anxiety about getting the shot. So anyway, it was just a matter of leveling with them and uh, letting them know that I get it. I, I've been there. I, I know those feelings, and uh, I got the shot as well. And, and um, you know, it's about all you can do. I think that people can, you know, even if you're... I might not have anything really smart or good to say, but the fact that I'm being honest and sincere, people can see through when you're trying to bullshit them with some kind of, like, scripted, canned response. And uh, I think just being able to just being able to level with them as a human, I think, went a long way. And and again, that was a rewarding experience for me because uh, it goes both ways. You know, it made me feel good to be able to be a part of that, and, and and hopefully be a small step in somebody's mental health and fortitude at uh, getting through this troubling time. So anyway, um, that's that's that story. And uh, I'll be posting more again. Please continue to s make suggestions for uh, other aspects to talk about because I, I definitely have other things I can share. Um, I will be talking to you all again very soon. I'm very, very, uh, very much looking forward to getting home. I'm going to be out of here in the next couple of days. I'm not sure if next time I talk to you will be from here or from home, but you'll be able to tell um, based on my background <laughs> where I am. So uh, I'll talk to you all again real soon. Thanks a lot, and uh, remember, don't be afraid to question the consensus.